So I'm late to this one as well. I'm so sorry, everyone. I promise I'm gonna get right back on track with everything. But it's chapter 61 just dropped, so let's get into it. Vegeta wastes absolutely no time and goes immediately on the offense, giving a gut punch to Marl, but everyone is in shock because that punch did next to nothing. Piccolo does mention Vegeta's a lot stronger now, but the gap between Marl and Vegeta can't be overcome with training alone. And we can see Marl is looking pretty confident that he is about to mop the floor with Vegeta, yet Vegeta just keeps attacking head on over and over and over again. And everyone around him is just wondering, what is he doing? Now, this is where I struggled with what Piccolo said. Jacko thinks Vegeta can't accept losing and is going berserk. But Piccolo says, I doubt it, Vegeta's never been one to misread an opponent's strength. Really, Piccolo? So... What did... <laughs> so what about against, I don't know, Frieza when he thought he went Super Saiyan, then got his ass handed to him, or against Cell and he let Cell get to his final form and then got his ass handed to him again, or how about against Boo when he blew himself up thinking it would kill Boo and it didn't. Seems like Vegeta misreads opponent strength all the time. Vegeta shows that constantly, as he's way too cocky, he won't accept someone being stronger or better than him. So I don't understand why Piccolo said this when it just wasn't true at all. In saying that though, we now all of a sudden see Vegeta's attacks start to actually damage Moro out of nowhere, and the tables have completely flipped. Goku takes notice and recognizes the technique, and we learn it's called Forced Spirit Fission or Fizzin, I think it's Fission. Piccolo explains he notices that Moro is getting weaker and that is exactly what Four Spirit Fission does. We learn the technique tears apart things that were combined through fusion or absorption. So this means Vegeta could extract the Namekians fused to Piccolo or weaken characters like Majin Buu who absorb things. This forces the opponent to play on Vegeta's terms and not being able to rely on outside power gains. This will be really interesting moving forward as well because having this technique against Cell would have changed the tides so quickly and so many characters in Dragon Ball would rely on fusions and absorption abilities so I could see this becoming insanely handy in the future. I also think this ability is a lot bigger deal than just against Moro because even against Amasu this could have played a role in getting the win. I saw some people online mention if this is equal to Ultra Instinct and my opinion on that is simply no it's not. Hear me out, I know in the manga it's saying that Vegeta is stronger than Goku but I just don't see it. This new ability does nothing against Goku. And so if Goku is fighting an Ultra Instinct, I can't see how Vegeta could possibly win, since this new technique has no effect on him. This also would not have helped against Jiren or just straight up stronger characters that don't rely on absorption or fusions. So even against Frieza or Broly, this technique from what we understand of it wouldn't do him any good. This is still an extremely powerful ability and I'm kind of jealous Vegeta got to learn it. I doubt it, but man, how awesome. Would it be if the Z fighters got to train on Yadra and learn some really cool techniques as well? So back to the fight, Vegeta's getting cocky as he normally does and he's mocking Moro because Moro is relying on other people's powers to power himself up and it's still not enough to take on Vegeta. We learn a really interesting little piece of information as Paibaro mentions planets that get their life energy back after being taken won't be revived if too much time has passed. Though, beings with potent life force should be able to be revived and this is when we see new Namek and its inhabitants coming back to life. Piccolo has a little moment with Goku and asks if he ever could have thought Vegeta would ever grow this much. Goku thinks he is talking about Vegeta's strength, but Piccolo clarifies and he means as a person, which is absolutely true. Vegeta by far has the greatest story arc of any character in the franchise. He goes from being a heartless villain to learning he's a slave to Frieza and his entire race was slaughtered and he fails to get his revenge on Frieza and dies. He's always second to Goku, always playing catch up and no matter how hard he tries, he can't surpass Goku. He then has a family of his own and truly loves Bulma and Trunks, despite his tough exterior. We see from the beginning of this arc, Vegeta really cared about the safety of the people on New Namek, 
and Piccolo mentions he thinks it's because he's trying to atone for the sins of his past. Vegeta's done a lot of dark stuff and is not only fighting for himself, but for the sake of others as well. So all this talk about Vegeta tells me one thing. We will repeat history as always. Vegeta looks like he's going to get the win, but clearly something's going to happen. No way it's going to ever be that easy to beat Moro. And guess what? It wasn't. Moro uses his magic and gets to his spacecraft before Vegeta notices what's happening. He instantly kills Shimareka and grabs hold of 7-3 and eats him. Moro gets a power up and Goku mentions he's even stronger now and we see Vegeta falling from the sky and completely knocked out. We now see Moro in a new form where he looks like 7-3 and Moro fused together. Personally, not really loving this new look. He looked a lot cooler with his goatee, but he mentions he has all of his former powers plus more and he has 7-3's abilities as well. So what I'm curious to know is Vegeta's new spirit fission technique, as he stated, rips apart spirit energy and Moro absorbed 7-3. So shouldn't Vegeta's ability completely handle Moro? Or will it not work because 7-3 was an android and so maybe the ability won't work against him? So unless Vegeta has another trick up his sleeve, I'm not sure how they could possibly win as we saw Vegeta's strength alone was nowhere near Moro's until he weakened him with the ability. So obviously we see teamwork of Goku and Vegeta, but if Spirit Vision doesn't work, I don't see what Vegeta can do to help. And it then will be up to Goku with Ultra Instinct, which already failed. What do you guys think will happen in the next chapter? Do you think Vegeta has another technique? Or maybe we haven't seen the full scope of spirit fission. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and consider sharing my videos as it helps me tremendously. That's all for this one. See you in the next video.